he was asked if he was going to join the March for Life, as I said, and he said yes. He said, I feel like I need to take a stand for my faith. He was crucified for his stand. Many other sports broadcasters just denigrated him. He's a right-wing extremist. Of course he is. I'm not sure what that means. If that means that you have character and take a stand for your faith, I guess that's it. Yeah. He should be fired. And you know what? It'll be a question to see whether they fire him or not. But I don't think he much cares. You see, he took a stand. Jesus says, you are the salt of the earth. Who? Say it with me. Hey, we are the salt of the earth. Well, I don't feel like salt. I feel like peanut butter. <laughs> no. No. We are the salt. But then Jesus warns us in the text. He says, you've got to stay salty. If you lose your saltiness, not much good anymore. As a matter of fact, the world will overrun you, trample you. Hmm. That's something to think about. Yeah. What you're saying, Jesus, is that if I take a stand for the gospel, your gospel, and and I I I I I, I say things in the world, I, I live my character and that I might get run over. Absolutely. Well, how do we stay salty? Well, the answer is simple. We stay in fellowship with the king. How's your relationship with Jesus? We listen when he speaks to us through his word. We fellowship with like-minded people. We remain faithful in our commitment to him. Because you see, beloved, if you look at the text, we are more than salt. We are also light. And what does that mean to be light? It means that you and I have influence. Hmm. You, you all, you, Butteville Community Church, you are the light of the world. The devil would tell you and I that we are sufficient in ourselves that we are the king. I'm the king. I'm in charge. No. No. That's false. But that's what the devil would tell us. The truth is, is that I'm not capable. That if I'm going to be salty, I must do so and be salty by holding the hand of Jesus Christ and being an influence for him. But when push comes to shove, the world knows that there is a real king and his name is Jesus. When Tony Dungy spoke at the Right to Life event, <clears throat> He 
He told the thousands of people there that the answer to the trage tragedy of abortion is prayer. And he was calling to mind Damar Hamlin's collapse on the football field and what happens when a nation turns to God. It happened a couple of weeks ago, maybe two, three weeks ago. Perhaps you saw it. It was a football game between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. Buffalo Bills safety, <coughs> Damar Hamlin, collapsed on the field. It was a Monday night football game. It was just a routine hit, didn't look spectacular. He got up and collapsed to the ground in complete cardiac arrest. His heart stopped. Yeah. The players all around him stood by in horror. And Tony says, you know, it could have been tragic, but something miraculous happened. The team medical staff rushed out and they got Damer's heart started again. But you know what? That wasn't the miracle. The real miracle was the reaction. The announcers that were calling the game, one man said, all we can do is pray. And all across the country, people started praying for this young man. <laughs> he told the crowd, Dungey did, that the country's prayerful reaction to Hamlin's collapse was striking in that the NFL had actively prevented praying on the field in the past. The Bills players dropped to their knees right there at that spot. The other team joined them. Tony Dungy said, now usually when that happens, the cameras cut away from them because we don't like to see that. He said, back when I was coaching in the 1990s, <clears throat> a few Christian players got together and they said, we want to pray after the games. And we actually got a memo from the NFL office that said, don't let your players do that. If you do, you'll be fined. Because that's not appropriate. Hmm. You believe that, Tony Dungy said? That's a true story. He said, but three weeks ago when this young man dropped, everybody on that field was praying. And they continued the next week at every stadium and the NFL teams got together and prayed and it was amazing. Well, those prayers were answered with Damar's recovery. Now he's home, he's been released from the hospital. Tony Dungy, a man with influence, shares that story. I saw God unfold, perhaps you did too. It was truly amazing to see people go to God because of the influence of salt. They didn't go to the devil, did they? 
And you know what? God answered the prayers. God has charged us, the Butteville Community Church, to make an impact for the gospel in which we live. You see, beloved, we are the light that reflects the light and the glory of the King. <laughs> when you go out this door, you will see, if you stand outside, that on that end of the building are three crosses outlined in light. They've been there a long time since I've been here. That's a long time. One day I got a note from a lady. She says, I live across the Willamette River. She said, I can stand on my porch and I can see your three crosses. And she said, I just thought I'd drop you a note and let you know how important and what a difference that makes in my life to know that there are fellow believers just across the river. Isn't that cool? You see, beloved, that's who we are. Salt. And how do we maintain our saltiness? By staying in close contact with the king. Influence. Because we have a responsibility to the world in which we live. Amen? Thank you, Father, for the power of your word and how it speaks to our hearts. Lord, help us to be salt and light. Use us, Lord. Use us as your people, as reflections of your glory. In your name, Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> You know, while, while I was listening to that, uh, I thought there's a real nice little song. I'd like you guys just to listen to Nancy sing it. And uh, it's on page 57 in your hymnal if you want to follow along. In fact, we're going to have her sing it once by herself, and then you join us. And it's called The Light of the World is Jesus. The whole world was lost in the darkness of sin. The light of the world is Jesus. Like sunshine at noonday, his glory shone in. The light of the world is Jesus. Come to the light, tis shining for thee. Sweetly the light has dawned upon me. that with her okay it's on 57 in your hymnal there in front that's believe it or not how they used to sing before all this okay here we go the hope is light in the darkness of sin the light of the world is jesus like sunshine at noonday his glory shone in the light of the world
know who Hank Williams is? Okay, we're going to sing one of his songs, and it's a true story. It says, I saw the light. It kind of tells a story about him. Joy, do you have your banjo? Run quick if you want to join us. Let's stand up. We're going to sing, I saw the light, you know, and my sister's going to play one verse on the accordion. You know what the um, definition of a lady is? Somebody that plays the accordion, but not too often. <laughs> I wandered so aimless, life filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Okay, you keep clapping while Nancy plays it. One, two, three. Just like a blind man, I wandered along. Worries and fears, I claim for my own. And like the blind man, God gave back his sight. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Okay, Marilyn. I was a fool to wander and stray. Great is the gate and narrow the way. Now I have traded my wrong for the right. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in light. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. And I saw the light, I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in light. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Can you say it? Now. now. Till next Tuesday? Yeah. No. <laughs> Forever and ever and ever through all generations. Amen. Have a good afternoon, friends. Good to see you. <laughs>